is my body. What a confusion. When did we butcher you? Take it. This is my body. The body of Jesus is immune to enchantments. The body of Jesus is immune to divination. The body of Jesus cannot receive arrows. So any arrow that is in your body must leave your body now. This is my body. Hear me? We don't carry normal body. We carry supernatural body. Look at the next verse. And he took the cup and gave them and gave thanks and gave it to them. Drink. Ye all of it. Verse 28. For this is my blood. So when did we start drinking blood? When did we start drinking human blood? Hear me? You are not drinking human blood. You are drinking the blood of Jesus. I remember I said in one of my stations, if a witch is drinking the blood of man, I'm drinking the blood of Jesus. And that makes it impossible for any witch. I've said it over and over. Any witch that will drink my blood, not only him, his entire family will be wiped out. Yeah. Anyone you talk, now be your own. I don't talk more. If you like, say, say meh or say eh. <laughs> Please put that scripture again. For this is my blood. Of what? The New Testament. Which is shared for many for the remission of sin. For the remission. For the flushing out of the things that weakens you. For the flushing out of the things that makes you lose strength. For the flushing out of the things that swallow up your head. We are drinking of the blood of Jesus. He took his bread gave his body and said, this is my blood. So the mystery of the communion was introduced by Jesus himself. So whatever is afflicting your health, whatever is tormenting your health, it is time to torment them back. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. What we actually partake of in the communion is the very life of God. Say with me, the very life of God. Leviticus 17 and verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in where? And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Jesus carried a tireless body, a disease-free body, a body backed up by power, a body infused with life, not the life of the flesh, but the life of the spirit. Now, let me tell you why it is called the life of the spirit. If someone dies now, if someone dies now, the blood will dry up. Through of us. You cannot come and put strings and say, let's collaborate. For we are life. 
So the blood is the life of the spirit. So you can't go too far without a prepared body. And it takes the life that is in the blood for you to go far. And this communion gives every one of us access. Tell your neighbor access. access. To experience total recovery. Oh, I won't forget one one young man they, they brought. They say he has not slept. Is it three or four days? They say he has not slept. I said, did he drink a uh, Igbo? I said, did he drink Igbo? He said, no. I said, what did he take? He said, they can't say. But he's restless. He's, he can't sleep. He will just stay and be talking to himself. I said, okay, let me see whether he will talk now. Who brought the communion? Now, what the communion does is to arrest the arrester. Whatever has arrested sleep from him. We gave him the communion. I said, if he sleep, nobody should wake him up. He will sleep the one of the three days that he has not slept. They came around 10, 11. As they went back, the man was snoring and sleeping. He was snoring and sleeping, snoring and sleeping, snoring. The night, around 9 10. He said, Pastor, he has not wake. I said, Wake him up to eat, he will sleep again. They woke him up, he ate. After eating, he took off another sleep. <laughs> there was a sister, I've shared this testimony before. The baby. And you know, baby, they, they can't complain to you. The only thing they can do is to cry. Baby couldn't eat. He was crying, crying. He brought the communion. He said, Father, by this communion, I command her appetite to recover. In the name of Jesus. He was still doing gara gara. Collected the, collected the flesh, dipped it in the blood, forced it in the mouth. She wanted to eat, I block it. So she swallowed it. Guess what happened? Action started. <laughs> SMA that will take three days. She did blow on me one day. So the mother was now complaining that uh, she's eating too much. I said, when you came before, what were you saying? So I allowed her to eat too much. Praise God. We partake of the communion. Hear this? The flesh goes as the rod. Say with me, the rod. In Exodus chapter 4, Think verse 7 or thereabout or 17, anyone? Let's look at verse, is it verse 7 or verse 17? Check verse 17, please. Verse 17. And thou shalt take this rod in thy hand. Wherewith thou shalt do what? In Isaiah 11, Isaiah 11, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. That stem that grow out of Jesse, that rod, is Jesus. Jesus is our New Testament rod. He said, take this rod wherewith thou shalt do what? Sign. 
And in the other place he said, take, this is my body. As often as you eat it, do it in remembrance of me. Every time you take the rod, an affliction must die. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Every time you take the rod, it will terminate terminal disease. Amen. Every time you take the rod, whatever is making your life uncomfortable <laughs> is called the comforter. It will bring you out of discomfort. The flesh carries the fullness of the presence of God. And there is no way you will take it. Hear me? When your faith is out of place, you are just eating bread. Jesus took it and said, this is my body. This is my body. And if he calls it his body, whatever is breaking your head will be broken today. Yeah. What sickness does is to swallow. Swallows hurt. Swallows the cells. Infuses weakness. And before you know what's happening, you begin to depreciate. But you can't take his body and not be infused with divine life. Every time we take the body, there is what we call spiritual engraftment. There is a, indeed an engraftment. Your natural nature is swallowed up by divine nature. So whatever is in your nature that is opening the door for the sickness, it swallows it. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Now let me ask you a question. Can Jesus enter into you and high blood pressure remain? Can Jesus enter into you and uh, diabetes remain? Can Jesus enter into you and HIV survives? Can Jesus enter into you and moving objects are still moving? That brings us to this point. When your faith is out of place, the power of God is not in place. For it to work, your faith must be released for it. Jesus said, take my body. Not take biscuit. Not take bread. Take my body. Wear my body and live like I live. Wear my body and be exempted from enchantments. Wear my body and no arrow will touch you. We are my body and let everything that has been troubling you be flushed out. He said, my fan is in my hand and I will thoroughly purge my floor and burn with unquenchable fire. Every time you partake of the body, the spirit that is in the body goes on a search. It begins to search the inward part of our belly and whatever is contrary to divine life, they are flushed out. I guarantee someone here today, whatever they call medical reports that is tormenting your mind, it will be flushed out today. So you can't carry his body and be broken again. So your body cannot be broken again. I say your body cannot be broken again. Yeah. 
Let me ask someone a question. Can you carry his body and somebody will carry your picture? I tie your womb. In the name of Jesus, I tie your womb. We go answer that prayer. They carry your picture. You will not marry. And they are foolishly saying in the name of Jesus. Mumu. You and the person will send you your nabi mumu times raised to two. Are you what I'm saying now? You can't carry his body and your name answer in evil authors. From today, your body will be walking well. I say your body will be working well. Amen. That's why you need to be taking the communion regularly. It's not occasionally. It's not only when you come to church. Number two is blood. His blood is the purest blood. So he comes as a purifier. Now, The normal blood will have the white blood cell and the red blood cell. Am I correct? The white blood cell, they call it the policeman. And the, what do they call it? Antibody. Eh? Good. Now, the red blood cell is the one that carries food, carries oxygen.